Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean Till the End of Time. So where we left off, and yeah, I'm moving the mic on. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Now we left off uh, on the Aqua Alley, Aqua Alley, um, to uh, talk to the captain still. So let's do that. Um, I believe if you go around this way. We're back, Commodore. Awesome. What took so long? Any interference from the executioners? Not yeah, that I know of. We made it. Oh yeah, there was that one. <laughs> Glad to have you back safely. But first things first, did you find out anything? We did. There was a secret file concealed in my father's database. Is that so? My name and genetic profile were the keywords. I see. That explains why we could not find anything. What was in the file? The identity of these mysterious creatures that are attacking the galaxy and the Earth. Go on. They're the emissaries of the Creator. I hope so you're, you're saying it is the Creator? Not too religious. No, <laughs> I don't blame you for being skeptical, but that's what my father believed. I suppose, after seeing what they look like and their capabilities, I would believe that too. What they look like. Yes, based on their size, it's easy to see that they surpass Federation battleships in offensive and defensive capabilities, as well as speed. It's no wonder some call them gods. We have little chance against them. Oh, yeah, we do. Commodore, we need to travel to the planet Styx where we can enter a realm known as 4D space, where the Creator resides. According to my father, it's a different dimension than ours, so time won't progress at the same rate as it does here. In fact, the concept of time itself will not apply in 4D space. We're hoping that once we're there, we'll find some way to defeat the Creator and save us all. But isn't there a possibility that by defeating the Creator, you will also destroy his creation and all of us with it? It's possible. I don't think that'll be a problem. In fact, I believe defeating the Creator will free us from his hand and enable us to live in absolute freedom. That's right. And my father gave us the power to do just that. I see. Then we'll set course for the planet Styx. I fear the trip won't be easy. Are things that bad? Yes. The enemy has already reached our final line of defense. It is only a matter of time until they breach it. Oh no! Well, we're dead. Then they can't afford to lose the Aquali, the Federation's most advanced ship. We'll go on the Diplo and... Impossible. The Diplo would never make it through enemy territory and reach the planet. Even the Aquali alone is no match for such a foe. I can't allow you to risk your lives when there is no hope of success. Maybe we could just rush them. Commodore. With like a million ships. The executioners are moving against our final line of defense. from an 
enemy executioner. The reaction is in excess of energy magnitude 3. No, wait, magnitude 4.5. There's no stopping it! Is this will of the creator? Are our sins so... so unforgivable? So we're all doomed, right? I mean, <laughs> oh God, we're dead. Calculate a course for evading their attack. Once we are out of the combat zone, proceed to sticks at max warp. Yes, sir. It's like, well, we have nothing to, to defend, so why not? <laughs> course calculated: one one two six five four point seven seven four. Good. Get us out of the combat zone. Top speed. Yes, sir. But can't the creator use things that go faster than us? No enemies detected in the present area. Right. Looks like we've escaped them for now. You all should get a little more rest. Okay. Yeah, you all witnessed your home planet get destroyed almost, so... Yep. That kinda sucks. But those lasers, man. Those lasers were awesome. Um, anyway. So, let's just go on down and see if, uh... The girls have anything to say first. Before I go to sleep. Uh, uh, excuse me. Hmm. <laughs> let's go to this one, which I think is Sophia's. Huh. Yeah, that would be nice. Huh, okay. Well, that's not good, actually. Well then, now what do we do? Oh, that's good. I don't know, you're smiling and making that same face, but whatever. Okay, so let's move on to talking to Maria, who just got her world blown as well. Okay. Let's talk to Pepita, who is somewhere. Oh, hey, there she is. Huh. Okay, so let's just go on back to our room and go to sleep, because I don't really care about everyone else. I just wanted to talk to one person. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's go to our room, which is this one right here. That's Albel's room. It's the one across from it. Here we go. Okay. Oh, that's good. Okay, so I guess we just have to go to the bridge and say hi to our favorite captain. I forgot his name, actually, but oh well. <laughs> I'll also need to look up how to get a certain knife 
from the next place we're going to, but uh, I'll do that during the next cutscene, probably, because, you know, auto-advancing text. Best invention ever, you know? Unless they aren't saying anything, then, like, voice-wise. <laughs> Commodore, 17 minutes to the planet Styx. We're picking up a strong energy reaction nearby. The Executioners. Why does... I'm afraid so, sir. That person's voice sound familiar. <laughs> I am sorry, but it seems we will not be able to transport you down to the surface. You want us to give up? Please, I've said nothing of the sort. You'll go to Styx by shuttle before the Aqua Ellie enters orbit. Commodore, what about you and your crew? We'll probably be dead by the time you get back. We will use the Aqua Ellie to lure the executioners away from you. You can't. That'd be suicide. Unfortunately, there is no other way. I apologize. We are unable to take you all the way. But don't worry. We won't sit here helplessly waiting for our destruction. They shall face the greatest power the Federation has. But... <laughs> the old man's right. There's no other way. Yeah, you can't convince someone that's already chosen. I'm afraid so. Oh, okay. So, how do we get to the shuttle room exactly? Um... Maybe if I just go to the teleport room and maybe that'll get me somewhere? It does say long distance transporter, so... There we go! With you, sir. We can take them, sir. Let's mess them up good, sir. Onward, my faithful comrades. Well, of course they're the best of the Federation because everyone else is dead.
Um, okay. No voices. Wow. It's that tragic that the voice actors couldn't say anything. But, th you know what? That scene reminded me of Duel Masters for some reason. I don't know why. Even though I haven't s No, not Duel Masters, actually. It kind of reminded me of the summoning scenes and stuff from, uh... Mar. Uh, Marchin Awakens Romance, or whatever his name is. So this is the shuttle, so let's just get out now. Well, it's not really getting out, it's like teleporting out. And sand. Holy crap. Oh, that's better. They're everywhere, as I expected. Everyone ready? Don't worry, they're not as hard as you think they are, just by how they're destroying ships Let's and all. To the time gate. Yeah. Let's go. Leave it to me. Right behind you. <laughs> Don't fall behind. Okay. Everyone gets their last words, and now we do this. So this is, as I said before, not as hard as you think it is. Um. Uh, let me think. Well, one, we want to uh, heal up, and then two, we want to save our game because we don't know what's going to happen. Well, you guys don't, and I don't exactly know if I'm going to win against these guys because it has been a while. And th my normal team isn't actually these three. I would usually use, uh, I think I would take Fate out for Owlbell usually, but I think Fate can handle himself now because he's a lot higher leveled in this game than mine but i'm keeping fate in because he's one of the three yep <laughs> uh let's just go over here wait there's no percentage what am i doing <laughs> screw that oh my god two two proclaimers okay so let's see how bad badly i get destroyed um good thing i dodged that holy crap they killed me already Nope, it's not working up! Oh! Nope, I died. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That That's funny. <laughs> oh my god, I just got destroyed. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? Um, God dang. That was like annihilation right there. Um, I want to fight these so that I can at least beat them. So let's keep doing this until something happens. Okay, now that's getting annoying. It's probably because I was walking into that black thing of death. Ha! I wasn't moving because I accidentally pressed the wrong button. I accidentally pressed square for some reason. That doesn't do anything, actually. So that's pretty easy. You just have to lure them to you. And that's only if you have the thing, and that actually breaks your shield, because they're purple when they do that. Okay. Now what? Oh, well that was easy. Um, maybe if I symbology myself some power here, I might be able to beat them a little easier. Yeah, there we go, I just need to do that. Oh, they killed me. Of course they did. Come on. There we go. Hopefully the casting time for that actually decreases later, but... And, of course. Okay, Sophia, you know what to do. At least Al- uh... Fate is really doing very well against, uh... That attack for some reason. I'm going to back off a bit, just in case. Well, it's somewhat doing damage. This would work a little better if I was attacking those big guys. Holy crap, that's a lot of experience. <laughs> Everyone got a level. Hey, Thunderflame. Or, if I read that right. But I accidentally hit X, so I can't tell. I think it's a Thunderflame, though, which sounds pretty cool. Let's try short. Yep, there we go. Uh, uses an electromagnetic field to incinerate the enemy. Okay, sure, why not? Um... Yeah, can't do anything with those. <laughs> um, 
Magic. I might want to increase his defense, actually. And... Okay. Well, I'm going to save after that battle and heal up again.